just having that spring and, and same you know, system and stuff, what's your comfort level of heading into this fall as maybe opposed to last fall? I mean, just everybody just being on the same page and understanding what we need to get done. I mean, that just brings a whole, you know, comfortability that I, I haven't had before. And, you know, I've, I've said this in another interview uh, prior to this, but, uh, you know, this last, this team, this specific team right now is is something that I've never experienced in my entire life of playing football. Uh, like this, this, like when I envisioned a team a year ago, I didn't know what this was. And this is like, like this is the definition of a football team. And I think a lot of people aren't gonna understand that until they really see us in action. Can you elaborate on what you mean? Just from a standpoint of leadership and um, the camaraderie we have, um, how close we've grown together, how um, just how much we trust each other. You know, we, we got each other's backs on and off the field and really have each other's backs off the field. And, you know, Jalen can attest to that. Jalen's one of the older guys, uh, been here with a lot of great Ole Miss football players. And you'll say the same thing. This is this team is just different from a standpoint of we may not have uh, the best players on, on paper. We may not. Um, have the flash and all that, but I guarantee you we're going to be the best team that plays together. I know Jalen's gotten asked about you a lot today and about the offense and that kind of thing. You went up, I know that they struggled on defense a year ago. You saw them in the spring, though, a lot of new bodies, that kind of thing. When you go against them and maybe, you know, seven on seven and that kind of thing, do you see a difference already? Absolutely. They're playing with the chip on their shoulder and they train with the chip on their shoulder like they haven't before. They're, they're con constantly working consistently and um, with no coaches out there. So that speaks volume there. They got leaders like Jay Jones, uh, Mark Robinson, Otis Reese that are, that are helping that defense grow. And um, they're gonna take it to heights that I don't think Ole Miss has seen since, um, since the last time we were great on defense. Lane was talking earlier about how in some respects this kind of feels like year one for him in Oxford because of how weird last season was. I, does it kind of feel that way with for you with this coaching staff, considering that like uh, this first time you'll have the spring? No, I mean, even not having the spring last year, we were still like constantly together, twenty four seven. So I mean, even now, just now, I just feel like there's more time, so we're not necessarily. I mean, we're working every single day together, but like last last year, it just felt like everything was so bunched together. So. It just seemed like there was more, but I mean, now we have an off season, we have time and there was time to learn, but having that urgency that we had last year and combining it with the time we had is something that is gonna make something for greatness, definitely. Did you change anything about your uh, off season routine this year? No, sir, it's the exact same. The same, okay. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's the mock drafts and I, I kind of asked you this before, about you know you going in the first round of the NFL draft next year or making that type of leap, like what people are talking about. What do you need to do? Do you think to make that leap to be a first round uh, NFL QB? I know you're focused on Ole Miss, but to take your game to those type of heights because everyone thinks that you have that I mean, type of potential. Last, like, I mean, last year I got asked, uh, you know, why why I'm not leaving. Um, you know, it was never my athletic ability that I doubted. It was never that I couldn't throw this ball. It was it wasn't anything athletically it was all mental it was all the the intangibles that i thought i could grow in i mean i had it yeah but i had i had the leadership by action i didn't have it vocally and um being able to grow by that grow in that aspect and bringing people with me and being able to being able to just like i said bring bring everybody together and uh be on the same page and understand what we're trying to get done as a team. Like that's what I want. Like I said, like I said earlier, this team is something that I have never experienced before because of how close we are, because of the transparency we have with each other, because we know each other's secrets, because like that just creates a bond that's that's unbreakable, that's gonna carry over to the football field, but it's much deeper than just football. Was there a moment you talked about in it wasn't the athletic ability, Dad. It was the mental side. Was there a moment now where something clicked when you went, all right, I get it. You know, I'm kind of grasping that a little bit better. Yeah, the, the bringing people with you aspect. Um, I used to hate bringing people with me because it would always, like, dude, like, stop talking. Like, I'm trying to do this. Like, it would always be people just messing around, not, not really getting it done when everybody's together. Because, you know, when everybody's together, they want to mess around and, 
you know, joke around, but now it's, we, like I said, we're all on the same page and we all understand what we have. Last year, last year, we didn't understand what we had. Like we just kind of went into the game, like, okay, we could, we could do this. Like, let's just give it our best and um, we'll see what happens. And now it's like, okay, now this is what we have. We have a standard now. This is, this is our goal and this is what we need to do to attain that goal. And I think the consistent work ethic that we've been putting in without the coaches says a lot and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna show come game time.